There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Terra Firma Craft. I am Mr. Envelope, and yep, that makes eight left. So that means we uh, we have 120 um, hickory trees growing in this area. So pretty cool. <laughs> um, just got done harvesting everything, obviously, and we're getting ready to plant, not plant, uh, start another pit kiln. Three of them, actually. Uh, do I have torches on me? I do. I do, I do. Um, but yeah, welcome back, guys. I feel like it's been a really long time since uh, we did any Terra Firma Craft. <laughs> I even forgot what it was called. Um, but it also hasn't been. I, I checked uh, my uploads and everything, and uh, it's been normal time and everything. It just feels like it's been a while. Um... But I've been playing on here just a little bit. Uh, I did all the the mining in that copper ore place underwater. Uh, it it didn't really have too many um, too many uh, ores for us, uh, which was kind of disappointing. Cause I mean, we just got a bunch of copper, but it would have been nice to get some really close to home. Uh, I guess I shouldn't complain too much though. I managed to fill up two and a half vessels worth, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of doing some stuff around here. Uh, I've noticed a couple problems. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, I see two creepers. Uh, I've noticed a couple problems, and they're not bad, kind of, but there's something we're going to have to deal with. i got to put these saplings away. Uh, so you know all of our animals. Uh, those guys are escaping. <laughs> like, crazy bad. Um... I've pointed out the chickens before, how I, I said I noticed a couple chickens, like, over by the beach down there. Uh, and every so often I'll see one just wandering across over here. Um, the pigs are escaping now. <laughs> Those guys have all grown, so they're taking up a lot more space and they're pushing each other around. Um, oh yeah, I died. And, um, they're pushing each other around and they're escaping. They're getting through the walls, um... And we're gonna have to kill some of them, but the problem with this is... Well, I guess that's the problem, too, but... Uh, the thing that's kind of annoying... Oh, look, there's a chicken down there. I should just let them be free. If they get out, you know, good job. <laughs> you did it. Um, but the thing that's kind of bad is... Whoop! Uh, I just had to kill a bunch of our chickens. Those guys are stuck outside. There we go. I had to kill a bunch of our chickens... Uh, so much so that we have two, two and a half, um, barrels, <laughs> two and a half barrels full of feathers and bones. The first one was just feathers, but you get what I mean. And then now the pigs are dying and it's, you know, it's not, it's not too bad or they're not dying. They're escaping and it's not too bad. You know, it means like we have tons of food. Um, but the thing is when you kill these guys, <laughs> uh, you get tons of food. <laughs> And I know that's a good thing in Terra Firma Craft, especially because I think I was complaining about uh, a lot of our food decaying. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world, but now it's just something we're going to have to deal with. And uh, I think I made the mistake, too, of uh, getting some more of our pigs pregnant. <laughs> uh, I didn't do it. They they did it themselves. I wasn't involved in the... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> so, we have all these pigs, and... We're going to have to kill a bunch of them, especially if some of them are pregnant. Um, whoop. And I don't really want to uh, kill them. <laughs> I kind of just want to keep them like this. I mean, I, I think it's cool to have all these pigs just around. Don't really like the pen that they're in, but, you know. Uh, and then the pigs. Hey, get out of there. Please, please don't suffocate. Uh, the cows, I've been milking uh, not as often as I should, but... Um, the cows are pregnant again. Or, I think our one female that can get pregnant is pregnant. Uh-oh, is she the one down there? Uh-oh. You better get out of there. Please. Don't. No. Maybe if I relog. Is this you? You? No, it's you. There we go. Okay, she's out. Um. Yeah, she's pregnant. We got two babies. One of them... That one I've noticed growing. And this one, I think is the baby that got stuck being a baby for a long time if you know what i mean by that 
Um, the cows, I kind of want to get their numbers up still. And then the sheep, <laughs> uh, I think she's pregnant. But we're not friends yet. But I, I've been feeding them a little bit. <gasps> Where's the black one? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Whew. Um, I fed everybody and both of the males rushed over to her and they had hearts over them. She didn't have hearts, but the males did and they both uh, went towards her. So she might be pregnant. I know she, she doesn't trust me. You know, her heart's all black. Um, so we'll just see what happens. Uh, but that is that is a little problem that we have. <laughs> uh, it's not too bad. I don't know why I made it out to be uh, kind of a big old thing. Um, I'll probably slowly try to kill some of our, our pigs. Salted, salted. Um, so if you see the numbers go down, you know why. Also, I'm going to say this. I don't like our, uh, our cellar. That cellar sucks. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't do its job. Our food still decays. It might be because we're just like in a warm area. And I didn't really put that thing like too deep underground. Um, I mean it, it barely qualifies as being underground. I suppose. Just because I put a layer of dirt on top of it. Um, but that place does not get uh, cool enough. And all of our food decays super quickly. Um, basically what I'm saying is. Does anybody have any other suggestions for food preservation? Like, should I dig an actual deep underground cellar? Uh, is that something we should invest in? Is it going to really make that much of a difference? Or is the setup we have now good enough because of how much food we have? Should I not even worry about trying to preserve it all? Uh, I'm interested in what you guys have to say. Uh, so please let me know if you have any suggestions or ideas on that. All right. One, two, completely full. <laughs> oh, that's pretty nuts. Um, I just went through and like cleaned everything too, like a minute ago. Uh, I do have plenty of ice in here. The temperature says it's at one. I don't know if that's good or not. Um, yeah, let me know about that, guys. <laughs> uh, but anyways, today what we are going to do is we're going to head over to the purple base. Um, we're going to take that with us. I meant to do that, I swear. Uh, we're gonna go to the purple base, just do a little bit of work over there, kind of do some, uh, some gunpowder crafting. <laughs> uh, if you remember, when we first came back from the purple base, we got a bunch of saltpeter, and we've been farming up, um, not gunpowder, we've been farming up, uh, charcoal. <laughs> there we go, I just harvested some today. Um... We've been farming up some charcoal and um, we have all of the sulfur over at the purple base. So today, how are we going to do this? <laughs> uh, what are these? These should all be empty. I think these are ready to go. Yep. Okay. Um, so not this episode, but next episode, uh, we're going to actually go ahead and use a bunch of this gunpowder. We're going to use it and make some, so it's going to be like a double whammy. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, but I got to fill all these up. All, all of our sulfur is over at the purple base pretty much, I think. It should be. Yeah, I don't think we have any sulfur here. Okay. Yeah, we don't. Um, so we're going to go over to the purple base and make some with the sulfur that we have. Uh, you know what's kind of interesting too? Um, our first base outside of this base was the jungle base and that place I if I remember correctly uh, the main export in that place was supposed to be um, charcoal because we had all those acacia trees and uh, they were really easy to chop down um, the next base that we did was the the sulfur base and we had tons of, um, that's where we're farming up sulfur. Or the purple base is where we're farming up sulfur. Jeez, can't think. Um, with those two ingredients, it's like we were almost subconsciously planning to make a bunch of gunpowder. I think that's pretty cool and interesting. I don't know why I only grabbed four of these. I think I wanted to grab only three. Because we're making some bellows, right? Yep, and that takes three. Cool. Um, 
the only thing that we would need is a place that has um oh another creeper is a place that has oh boy um what's the third ingredient jeez i cannot focus uh the saltpeter but that's something we have to mine wherever we're at so um i don't know why i keep getting those like weird freezes um yeah we would just need a place that does that and it's kind of hard to plan around oh these are done already that's pretty cool let's go ahead and kill this guy uh, i'm gonna go grab some basalt uh not sand or maybe if i have sand i'll grab some sand but i'm gonna grab some of that uh gravel that we picked up uh, a little bit ago too and i'll meet you guys over at the purple base all right guys i've made a terrible mistake <laughs> um oh, i've been having those lighting bugs too what's going on um there's a bear <laughs> and i put down my barrel because i found Nice warm colors. I found um a piece of leather? No. Hide. <laughs> I found some hide just chilling on the ground. And I went to go pick it up, but my inventory was full, so I went to go put that guy down. Hey you. And the bear saw me and he attacked me just a little bit. Uh so now my stuff is stuck over there with the bear. And I don't have a bow. Because I stopped carrying that around with me because I thought it was useless. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Oh, I wish we had our, our black steel axe. We could probably one-shot him. Oh yeah. Bears can't swim, everyone knows that. <laughs> hey. Oh, okay, one more hit and you're dead. Ooh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, geez, that was bad. I lost more than half of my health. That's pretty terrible. Um, let's also try to grab this hide before it despawns. I think it belonged to a pig or something, because um, I, ju I just see that one pig up there, and that's the only other animal I know that can drop a hide around here. Um, it was small. I think pigs drop medium, actually, so maybe it was a dog? I think the bear killed a dog <laughs> all right well anyways we got it uh we'll bring this over to the purple base and i think we can process it i think i remembered to uh bring all the proper things to make lime water oh now that i'm thinking about it i think we need that hey wolf there we go just needed a few sticks and i thought i might as well cut down these trees too <laughs> um but yeah, we're back at the purple base. I went ahead. I've been here for a little bit already. Uh, I went ahead and I finished uh, the wall. We'll go take a look at that in a second. Uh, but I just wanted to cut down some of these trees because I needed some sticks. And I thought might as well do it proper and whatnot since I haven't been doing that with the other trees at the other base. Yep. <laughs> um, let's see. I think these ones go over here. Yeah. Pine. Pine. There we go. Pine, pine, pine. Perfect. All right, I needed some sticks so I could finish making some of these lanterns. Let's go inside where it's safe. Uh, we only have enough glass to make three of these into lanterns. So two, four, six. Very good. I've been forgetting to bring uh, sticks with me. Sticks and lanterns. No, no, sticks and torches. <laughs> I've been forgetting to bring those with me whenever I go out exploring. And I forgot to bring the basalt gravel. Even though I explicitly said I was going to go do that. Um, I do remember now that I did try putting sand in here and I did not like it. <laughs> it was a bad choice. Um, so I got, I'll, I'll have to make another trip back over here. <laughs> bringing the basalt uh, gravel. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, I wanted some of these so we could put down more lighting. Um, I'm almost thinking too. Not just because we don't have a whole bunch of these. Uh, but maybe for the light, we'll, um, we'll put these lanterns down every other. Oh boy, this is going to be a little tricky. Ooh, that was weird. I didn't realize I was jumping on something. Um, yeah, we'll put these on every other post. Just so it doesn't seem like it's too crowded with light, I guess. That makes sense, right? Oh, that's weird. It's connecting on both. 
very strange. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> um, this this should be okay. Maybe maybe we'll put them on top. <laughs> I think that'll be a little better actually. I don't think this looks as good. Not that what we had before with the corner ones looked that great. Um, yeah, I don't think this looks as good as them uh, hanging from the side, but. It's better than what was going on in, in the corner. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll keep it like this. There we go. Uh, and I think we'll we'll save some of these lanterns, too, because uh, we have plenty of lead in that one vein in that cave, if you guys remember. Um, I'll do I'll do some lighting along this path uh, anyways. Ooh, that tree needs to get cut down. Um, I'll do some of that anyways, kind of make, like, another uh, handrail to keep that path down. Uh, lit up and everything because that's what these lights were originally meant for because this is our only place to get fresh water <laughs> uh, It's pretty scarce over here and uh, You know, what? I think we have time for this before we do the the gunpowder uh, I'm pretty sure I found a way to make more fresh water over here um, Of course we get gravel. <laughs> I mean not gravel we get flint the one thing I'm trying not to get right now. Oh, that is way too much. Okay, this eight should be fine. Uh, but check this out. So this is this fresh water. It's not. So I'm I'm right clicking with my 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 slurpy slurp. Okay, no no no. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. So we know for sure that this is salt water because it was frozen um, white. Fresh water fr uh, freezes blue. Uh, but check this out. I have to block that off. Block there. Okay. And now I have to take out... Ah, dang it. Nope, can't put that down. I don't know why I have this crafting bench on me. I have to take out the water. And then I get the water to flow this way. And you see how it's flowing water. These are two sources, but if I update it... Uh, it fixes itself. So now this is a solid bit of water. If I go to drink from it, it's fresh water now. <laughs> so I got the fresh water to spread, which is pretty cool. Um, we might be able to spread it over here now. So, oh, maybe not. Right? No. Yeah, that's not going to work because these are both flowing. Maybe if I let the salt water flow in with it. Okay. They're both solid now, but are they fresh? They're not. They're not fresh. This one's fresh. Okay, so that one, that one did it right. And then this one, oh, I'm not thirsty. This one should stay fresh water. Um, and then I think I can just, you know, get rid of all the gravel I put down. And it should stay fresh water. Come on, drink. All right, so this one turned into... Uh, fresh water so it's still fresh and is this one still fresh it is <laughs> so there you go I found a way to get uh, more fresh water which is pretty cool I'm thinking almost uh, that we'll try to spread this freshness to this freshness so we have just even more because um, if you look around we have no fresh water around here and I know I keep saying fresh water it's starting to sound weird um, I'm saying it way too much I mean um, but pretty cool. Very nice trick. <laughs> I was just playing around with it one day and I, I noticed it happening. Uh, but anyways, what are we doing here? We're, we're playing with the sulfur. Um, we have some of it already harvested. I stuck it in here for now. Um, and I went ahead and crafted a bunch of the gunpowder already. Um, but really quick, let's just do another harvest. That's not how you harvest. <laughs> I forgot how this works. Um, that was to turn off the lava flow, I believe. Right? Yep, it should have done that. It did, it did. But, um, you know, we just we just don't see it because I flicked it back on too fast. Um, the button is what harvests. Very cool. <laughs> um, so, we, we actually should have enough, but I just wanted to see this work again. Because we did spend a pretty good amount of time on it. Did any of it get on the top? Nope, looks like we're good. So now we go underneath and harvest what's here. And probably before we head out, I'll uh, play with um, chiseling the top of this because I wanted to try... Ooh, 
I wanted to try putting a really thin layer of stone and then having us like jump up because even though we can jump up here and not burn um, we don't want to do that because it's scary <laughs> um, so yeah how much did we get from that we got a stack in three that's pretty good for that not being very full um, but this is what we're doing these are all empty good and then I think I put the rest of the stuff here yep we have all this saltpeter all this charcoal left and what we're doing is we're turning this into gunpowder and the gunpowder is going to be very important uh, not because not just because it's fun to blow things up with gunpowder um, but we're going to actually use it to help us start a new base. <laughs> uh, this idea comes from Aloyaku, I think is how you say your name. I think I, I had a hard time when I was uh, giving you your tree too. Um, but his uh, suggestion was, you know, now that we have all these wicked advanced tools, just the, the black steel one that's on us, <laughs> um, now that we have these advanced tools, uh, do you think we'll be able to do like any... Uh, quarrying and stuff and uh, by that he means like you know actually digging out a nice big hole in the ground uh, as opposed to doing like our, our usual mining and stuff uh, and to that I say yes we will we will, we will try that again because um, I've done that before um, here let's go check it out it's actually right over here so it's kind of good that we went to the purple base yeah right over here uh, but this is very ugly. <laughs> um, but it is technically a quarry. And um, you can see, you know, like the idea is we dig everything out nice and neat so there's a, a very big hole. And I like that idea. We're, we'll try that again, but we're going to do it a little differently. Uh, my idea is mixed in with yours. And I commented this back. Um, we'll turn it into a base. It's going to be a whole new base project. Um, we'll, you know, have, have our quarry and that'll be like, obviously the center of the base. Um, but n right nearby, maybe even inside of the quarry or like right at the top of it or something, uh, where the hole or the mouth opens. Um, that's where we'll, we'll have like our base. So like our bed, all of our item storage, things like that. And we'll even, uh, decorate it, uh, with mine carts cause we can make mine carts and stuff. It's just, they're pretty expensive. Oh, you gonna go? There we go. Uh, see, check it out. Minecart. They take uh, sheets of metal. We can we can we make these? We can make a furnace minecart, but we can't make a minecart chest. That's a little disappointing. And we can make a hopper minecart. Come on. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll we'll set up minecarts and stuff. We'll have tracks and everything. It'll be pretty cool. I'm really excited because one thing I wanted to do with some of our gold also is make powered rails. And I don't know. I just think it'd be really fun to have minecarts and stuff set up in this big old hole. <laughs> um, so that'll be our next base project. And uh, we'll be able to, you know, do some quarrying and stuff and hopefully get some good materials from the, the big old mine. Um, but instead of digging all of it out by hand, I was thinking that we get it started. We'll, we'll, we'll clean it up by hand. But we'll get the quarry itself started with uh, some TNT. <laughs> I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, and it'll, you know, kind of progress where where we've been heading um, with the whole purple base. And even the tree farm, or the tree base, you know, like I said earlier, like we started, I guess, technically farming charcoal uh, way back then. Uh, it'll kind of makes sense it's like the next step to uh what we've been doing uh oh gotta eat <laughs> um so that's my idea and uh it's uh the credit for the idea definitely goes to Eloyaku. sorry if i'm saying your name wrong again <laughs> um but that's that's what i'm thinking we'll do um so let me know what you think if you guys like that idea i'm very excited for it I'll, we'll probably do it even if everybody hates it, <laughs> at least get it started and stuff. Uh, just because I really think it's a cool idea. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> that is pretty much it. Uh, it looks like we are actually low on saltpeter. We have charcoal, 
and sulfur, but no more saltpeter. But that's fine, we expected that. Put that there, and let's stick the rest of this sulfur back in this barrel. There we go. Uh, but really quick, too, let's take a look at how much uh, gunpowder we have. All of these are 100% full of gunpowder, so that is four stacks. And these are real stacks, not like these half stacks that we're usually able to do in Terra Firma Craft. Uh, let's top that one off because it was a little shy. Okay, so now <laughs> we have nine full stacks, nine full vessels with full stacks of gunpowder. One more stack and then 16. Very, very cool. I think, I think each one of these holds 12 spots. So one, two, three, four. Yes, I can count to four. <laughs> one, two, three. That is one barrel, two barrel, three barrels. We can do three barrels at max explosions. Um, so what I'm thinking is... Today, uh, we're going to go into a creative world and kind of just play around with some TNT. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind um, that we're going to be testing in a creative world. Uh, this isn't really to, like, get it perfect, how, how we do our quarry. It's kind of just to see if, like, I want to check what the differences are between having a full barrel and having one that's maybe, like, three quarters full or... Um, where's the best place to stick the explosion in like a mountain or if we should go on a plains? Um, that's really all I want to check. It's not to make sure that we, you know, make our base perfect or something. You know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> let's go into a creative world and uh, play around with some of the explosions. Alright guys, I think this will be pretty fun. <laughs> um, so, we're in a creative world. Ooh, look at that stone. <laughs> <laughs> this is the um, the same world that the um, lava farm and stuff were in. This is Scheist. I don't think we've ever seen this before. In our world, at least. It's green. That's pretty cool. Uh, and we also have birch barrels, because we don't have any birch trees in our world either. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to play around with these. Uh, so this is how the TNT barrels work. We've done it in our survival world before, in our regular Let's Play world. Um... But it's been a very long time, and let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> so this is how it works. You have to put your gunpowder in um, these barrels, and then you seal them, and you have to trigger them with the redstone pulse, um, or maybe you can with the flint and steel. You can. I did not know that. So this is the explosion with one stack. Really quick, too. I want to see... Can you just put one gunpowder in there? No, you can't. Can you put half a stack? You can, okay. What's the very minimum? 12 also works. And it does the same amount as half a stack. Okay, 10 doesn't work. 11 doesn't work. So the very minimum you need is 12. And that kind of makes sense, I suppose, because that's like having one in each slot yep the same and these are all gonna do the four yep okay cool so we got that out of the way uh, this this is gonna be three stacks this is how big the explosion is with three stacks a lot bigger <laughs> that's just as potent as TNT I think as regular just vanilla TNT let's go ahead and compare that oh it doesn't even affect Terra firma crafter. Okay. Well, that's good to know, but this is this definitely is a bigger explosion than vanilla TNT. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Didn't seem like that was real words. Um I'm guessing there was ore down here too. Yep, there's platinum. But that's two three stack explosions. Is that equal to a half a keg explosion? I don't think it's going to be as deep, but it might be bigger. Yeah, it's a bigger explosion, but not as deep. So... When we have our... Um, our hole in the ground, I definitely want it to be bigger. A bigger radius than just this. 
All right, we're getting a little messy over there. So now uh, let's try to do a nine stack explosion. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Jeez. It looks like there's a cave system under here too. Oh yeah. So we're going to have to account for that. I think it would be very lucky if we managed to hit a cave system. Uh, just because it would make our base that much more interesting. Uh, but check it out. That is a pretty nice sized crater. Uh, I want to duplicate this same explosion size again, but in a, a different flatter area. Because uh, this one has a lot of water in the way. I imagine when we make our base, it's not going to be around water. Alright guys, let's go ahead and try this uh, 9 stack explosion again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, that really lagged up my game. Ooh, you done? You good? Is there actual void right there? Didn't think so. Uh, but check it out. That's a very big hole. <laughs> um, I mean, like, the radius is huge, and it almost seems like a perfect square. Uh, I think that's something that uh, we would touch up. Ooh, got it. Oh, it's opal. Uh, that's something we would touch up with our... Uh, with our own tools and everything, obviously, to try to maybe round it out. Um, but I kind of like this uh, radius that we have. It would be really cool if we managed to get like two different ore veins uh, in the same explosion, but uh, it'd be really hard to calculate that. Uh, let's go ahead and repeat the same size again. And this is to see if maybe we can get the hole deeper. I don't really want it to get wider. Ooh. <laughs> the explosion is pushing me back. I know it's super laggy and kind of hard to follow, but um, the explosion, even all the way from up here, it's pushing me back. Um, so it's pretty powerful. We might have to tone it down just a little bit, but check it out. It looks like it's exploding kind of weird, because check this. There's like these trenches, and they're all like perfectly straight lines, and they happen all around on each side um so it doesn't look like repeating the same blast explosion size is the right idea unless uh we bury the barrels a little bit before we set them off so let's try that again but in another area <laughs> that's untouched all right so we're gonna do the nine stacks again but this time uh it's a lot lower in the ground Okay, that definitely nullified uh, the radius, which makes sense because the explosion is deeper. Um, I think that makes sense. <laughs> I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about, uh, but let's do that again. Maybe not go, whoops, as deep, even though that's just as deep. Um, let's repeat the same amount. And my thinking is that when it's deeper in the ground, it kind of contains it so... Yeah, it doesn't expand the radius and make it all sloppy. Um, but if we do it this way, it looks like we're going to want to use more stacks of TNT. But that's kind of a good thing, no? Because <laughs> then... Ah, I don't know. Because look at how look at how like perfect this is. Uh, this is plenty of space for us to... Well, maybe not this one specifically, but this is like this kind of setup, this start would be perfect for us to come in and clean up. We would probably keep some of the cobblestone and whatnot, but then we can start setting up the support beams, uh, making little tunnels that go in, have uh, railways that could go across and stuff uh, for the minecarts and everything. Um, in terms of depth too, I think this would be a good starting point because uh, the TNT is just to get us started. We're gonna clean this up and Oh, maybe not clean it, but we're going to continue it with our pickaxe because we're going to have amazing pickaxe tools and whatnot. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and try this exact same thing again, uh, burying the TNT keg. Um, but let's fill it up completely with gunpowder. All right, this one's filled to the very max. Uh, we dug it five, five blocks down, down. I feel like I said that weird and uh, yep this is exactly the size of a quarry I would want um, 
yep, this is perfect. <laughs> this is like 100% perfect. Uh, perfect diameter, I would say. And let's go about five blocks again. And the only thing we'd have to do is repeat it at least one more time. Ooh, that almost looked like it didn't do anything, but check it out. It looks like we found the perfect way to make uh, the type of uh, holes that we're looking for. And one thing I'm thinking too, is that we'll we'll do it like all not directly below in the center. Does that make sense? I think we'll maybe have them askew. Um, or here's something too. We'll have the... Oh, okay. Here's an idea. <laughs> so we'll maybe repeat this. Um, and then we'll see how it looks if we have another explosion. But maybe like a lot smaller. Like maybe just half filled. Um, and we'll put it off to the side. That almost didn't really do anything, <laughs> uh, which is kind of lame. I'm thinking though, when we, whenever we do this in our real testing world, we'll we'll make it not so perfect. Um, maybe have one go down, like the starting one, you know, be in its starting spot, but then the next one be off to the side a little bit, so we have almost like a curve or something. I think that would be a little better. Um, but this is pretty cool. I really am enjoying doing this. Uh, this is why I really like uh, exploding stuff with the keg. And um, what is that? Oh, those are peas. Okay. I, that was really weird. I don't know what ore this is, but check this out. If you don't know. Oh, there's two ores here. Very cool. Uh, let's. Okay. Let's do this right here. Let's light this. It's a full one, so it's going to be a big explosion. Any ores that were caught in that explosion, they're just going to drop whatever was there. Uh, so it might be a good idea. Ooh, that's a pretty stone. It might be a good idea to set up our quarry in a coal vein. Um, that way we'll always have ores just hanging around in the walls and stuff. I think that might look pretty cool. Um, I know... <laughs> Uh, Eloyaku <laughs> um, wants us to do like a proper mining session uh, quarry style but um, th this is going to be for the base too so uh, we want it to look cool like it's going to be neat having it like a big old hole in the ground and living in there uh, but it would be nice to have it almost like pre-decorated in a way you know what I mean um, I don't know why I'm picking all this stuff up. <laughs> There's tons of it. It's a really cool way to go mining, and that's what I like to do. Uh, but let's go back to our our actual Let's Play world. Oh, look at those lines showed up again here. Very strange. I wonder why that happens. Well, guys, that is going to have to be it for this episode. Um, sorry for kind of an abrupt ending, um, but we are way out of time. <laughs> um, but before we end, I came back over to the the old base because I wanted to grab the basalt gravel uh, take it back to the purple base um, but we also have a tree for the subscriber orchard and it's going to Jack Mills uh, he just asked for a tree uh, I decided to give a banana tree because oh I just say aspen log that's not aspen <laughs> um, decided to go for a banana tree because we don't have any banana trees over here yet so just thought why not it's a good tree um, but there you go hope you enjoy uh, I did a little bit of work over here, by the way, so it's kind of shaping up to be a thing a little bit, kind of. <laughs> Still a work in progress. Uh, I'll get it looking like something eventually, I hope. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, next episode, we will start exploring for the new base. Uh, I don't think I've said this yet, but this is our current base location. Purple base is right above here. It's pretty close. And I'm thinking, since we've traveled uh, east before... <laughs> oh, I thought it wasn't going to load. Uh, we've traveled over here before when we were looking for the basalt. Uh, and I didn't really see anything that was too crazy. Plus, I want to try to get to a different stone type. Um, and then we've traveled west before. Over here is um, all the, the, the Oakwood Islands. Those were pretty cool, but I want to try to go somewhere new. Uh, and then down south of our base is the jungle. So I'm thinking um, we haven't really gone any more north. 
than what is right here. And I'm kind of hoping that if we go north, we'll hit more colder uh, biomes. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find the sequoia tree. <laughs> um, but regardless, um, I want to head north. And instead of just going straight north and having like all of our bases in a row, uh, I want to go northeast. So hopefully something over here will be interesting. We'll have a different rock type. Maybe even one we've never seen before, but who knows. Uh, but that's the plan for next episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.